My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am, I am Joe, Joe Pinionated. Pinionated. Today on Joe Pinionated List, I am excited to count down the top 10 songs from Weird Al Yankovic. We've been counting down since song 30. There's a lot of honorable mentions. There's 50 songs on the playlist. The playlist is in the description below, so you can check it out afterwards. I'm also on other platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Personally, love Weird Al Yankovic. Think he gets cooler the older he gets. Started out pretty damn cool in my eyes. He was never afraid to be nerdy. You gotta start changing the knacks. My Sharona to my Bologna. He's played on the Dr. Demento radio station. And then he performed another one, Rides the Bus. Eat It was a huge, huge hit and that was already on the list check it out some songs that didn't make the list the night santa went crazy pretty fly for a rabbi another one rides the bus christmas at ground zero tacky i think i'm a clone now one of my personal favorites the achy breaky song it's all about torturing you with annoying songs play anything except for achy breaky hard. This reminds me of my, our uh, elementary school class. Some very nice parents of a classmate of ours were music teachers, so respect to them. I still remember the volume up, but we sang this song in front of the school, or at least we prepared to sing it in front of the school. I don't know if we ever actually did, though. I don't know, put it in the comments if you were <laughs> there. Is parody of Madonna's Like a Virgin, the song Like a Surgeon. Polka compilations. I had the greatest hits, actually. That album, the one that looked like that, and it's the one off of that, and I forget which album it's actually off of. Usually it'll have like a coat, uh, uh, a polka medley on each album. My favorite is Hooked on Polka. Hooked on Polkas. The song Gump, based on Forrest Gump, and a play on the song Lump by the President of the United States of America. Living in the Fridge. I'm doing Aerosmith next, so a play on Aerosmith's Living on the Edge. Will that be on my Chopinia top? I don't know how many songs I'm doing for Aerosmith. At least 20. Will that be on the list? Predictions. What's in the middle? The white stuff. Play on New Kids on the Block. The right stuff. Man, New Kids on the Block were huge, weren't they? But once he heard this version, forget it. It was always Oreo. The white stuff. One of his first hits. I love Rocky Road. He said that I love rock and roll. Comes with the armpit farts. Weird Al was pretty good at those. Okay, so that's a bunch of the uh, honorable mentions. A lot of them. Hopefully they go fast. I'm a fan. These are the songs I like. Huge respect to Weird Al Yankovic. You're welcome at my house anytime. Al TV on Much Music. The syndicate of MTV. Our Canadian version was Much Music. Al would come on and take over and he got me into so much different music because he was picking the songs and then he would would talk over top of the video prior to what Beavis and Butthead did later on. His shit was hilarious. It's funnier than what Beavis and Butthead did. I love Mike Judge and I love Beavis and Butthead, don't get me wrong. They did more than just the, the song parody stuff. His song parodies are the best music comical genius. He's Weird Al Yankovic. Now let's kick off our top 10 Weird Al Yankovic songs. Drum roll please, number 10. Oh, so this came off of his uh, greatest hits, Owl in a Box. And that was 1994. This is a parody of the Crash Test Dummies, awesome band and their song the song is headline news so it tells these three stories that were in the news that year they're all idiots once there's this boy that brought along his spray paint to singapore when he came back he had cane marks all over his bottom crash test dummies are great to respect and this also goes into the story of lorraine bobbitt and let's take on tanya harding and nancy kerrigan the story that was a huge story i mean how crazy is that number nine all time greatest weird al yankovic songs comes off of 1999's Running With Scissors. Remember to check out the other videos. Remember to check out the Canadian artists at the end of the video. There's links for them in the description, including the playlist for Weird Al Yankovic. Off of 1999's Running With Scissors, the song is The Saga Begins. This is a parody of the classic American Pie. Now, American Pie was one of my very favorite songs as a young boy. Played at every wedding I ever went to. It just seemed like such a good time anthem growing up. Everybody knew it. It's one of the few songs where my parents always got up and danced. This is the story of the Phantom Menace 
Star Wars, the episode one, and it's so good. It's ridiculous. And he just taught, I mean, he's obviously a Star Wars nut. He does some other Star Wars tracks as well. I, growing up, I mean, nothing cooler than Star Wars. Star Wars, the original trilogy, what I remember watching it around the time that I was really getting into Weird Al Yankovic to begin with. I was diving hard into Star Wars. I have copies of the script. I love Star Wars. You just know he's a fan you just you just know that by what he's doing and what he's saying and the lingo is using and what's important and what's not yoda senses in him much fear and qui-gon said now stick that in your pointy ear my my this your anakin guy maybe vader someday later now he's just a small fry left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye singing soon I'm going to be a Jedi. Number eight on the Japanese list, greatest. Weird Al Yankovic songs comes off of 1985's Dare to be Stupid. It's a parody of the Kinks classic, Lola. The song is Yoda. First and foremost, my son also did this song as a lip sync in front of his elementary school and it was awesome with his buddy. They did a great job dressed up as Yoda. He even put him on his back. They did the whole Empire Strikes Back thing. Once again, I loved Star Wars growing up, and I still love the original trilogy. Phantom Menace, I don't think is as bad as people say it is. I think that Phantom Menace actually did a great job. It got really cheesy in Attack of the Clones. They did a better job in part three. The original's amazing. Uh, favorites, Empire, come on. The most recent ones, I thought that seven was good. I thought that eight was good. I thought that nine was awful. I hated that one. So that one and the Attack of the Clones for me are the two worst. Empire Strikes Back, then New Hope, then Return of the Jedi. Phantom Menace, then, I can't remember what it's called, the Sith. Revenge of the, the, the lyrics in this one are incredible. It's just the story of Yoda in Empire Strikes Back with Luke. Number seven comes off of 1988's Even Worse. The song is a an original in the style of Van Halen. The song is Stuck in the Closet with Vanna White. It's hard to put these things in order, it really is. And my early favorite on Even Worse was this one was stuck in a closet with Vanna White. Night after night after night after night, I'm stuck. First of all, I had a huge crush on Vanna White. And the only reason that I knew who she was was because of the WWF and WrestleMania 4. Vanna White, she was co-hosting with Mean Gene Oakland, standing in front of the tournament board. I had a huge crush on Vanna White. It's also just a great song, and it's just about this guy that keeps having this reoccurring dream where he's stuck in a closet with Vanna White. And it rocks. It's an original Weird Al Yankovic, the crew. They're awesome, man. I wish they would just do couple albums of originals honestly they can all be funny and just be straight originals stuck in the closet with van away if you haven't heard it check it out there you go there's a new one for you <laughs> number six comes off of 1996's bad hair day parody of song of the summer previously gangsta's paradise by coolio which is a sampling classic by Stevie Wonder, and I've done a Stevie Wonder list, so check that one out. Top 15 songs from Stevie Wonder. Pastime Paradise, which is one of the best songs ever. This one is called Amish Paradise. I mean, the guy's a brilliant lyricist. Weird Al Yankovic is brilliant. Amish Paradise is a, an amazing example of that. My nephew on my street in the, in the crew, you know what I'm talking about, is the one who turned me on to this song, so thank you. This is when I'm in high school and I wasn't necessarily the coolest kid, I'll, I'll admit that. Definitely made no qualms about being a Weird Al Yankovic fan the whole way through. There was controversy because Coolio came out as saying that he didn't agree to it or something like that. Then when Coolio got his check, he changed his mind and I did see Coolio Coolio live once, and rest in peace Coolio, and uh, what can I say, it was Coolio for we watching a snowboarding skateboarding event <laughs> in plus 36, and the beers were going down like wine, were they ever. Remember that really tall guy got up on stage, a friend of ours, he's like seven feet tall or something like that, got up on stage with Coolio, kind of stuck out like a sore thumb that day. Anyways, Amish Paradise. Incredible lyrics, very funny, super witty, lots of his equals. Number five comes off of his big album from 2006, straight out of Linwood, that's where he's from, Linwood. 
California. The track is White and Nerdy. It's a parody of the rap classic Riding by Chameleonaire. This at the time, Weird Al's biggest hit. I think the song is still his biggest hit. I know that his last album debuted at number one on the Billboard charts. They see me mowing my front yard. I know they're all thinking that I'm white and nerdy. Number four comes off in 1993's Alapalooza. The song is Jurassic Park. This is a parody of the Richard Harris classic, MacArthur Park. Jurassic Park was huge. I remember going and seeing it at the old Caprice Theater. The lineup down the block, they had the red velvet seats and, you know, the curtain went up and down at the start and end of the show. There's still one in the franchise uh, on Vancouver Island in Duncan, BC. They have a Roxy Theater. Memory lane for me. If I go in there, it's amazing. That's where I saw Jurassic Park and the lyrics to this one are all about Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is frightening in the dark. All the dinosaurs are running wild. I'm afraid those things will harm me because they sure don't act like Barney. They think that I'm their dinner, not their friend. I got it number four. That song's hilarious. All right, number three comes off of Mandatory Fun from 2014. This album debuted at number one which is a big deal for Weird Al Yankovic. That's his last record. Hopefully there's more to come. Come on, Weird Al, what the f is going on here? It's a parody of the song Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke. That's Alan Thicke's kid with the help of T.I. and the man, Pharrell Williams. Make sure you check out his interview on Nardwar, the human serviette. The song is Word Crimes. It's a song about grammar and uh, word crimes that people use, especially when they're posting on the internet. Before chat GPT, which is the buzzword these days, there were a lot of work crimes out there on the internet and this song is just brilliant. If this is the last Weird Al Yankovic album and the song's on it and you went out on top, it's either you're a fan of Weird Al or you haven't heard enough Weird Al. There's a song in his catalog for you. He's got a hundred hits. I'm pretty sure that Robin Thicke got sued by Marvin Gaye because it's pretty basically a ripoff of one of the Marvin Gaye classics. Excellent video as well. Check out the video. Alright, so you didn't see this one coming. It's off of even worse put something in the comments i'd love to hear what your top weird al songs are that's what this is all about start a discussion let's get some real picks out there what are some real favorites that you have number two it's an original in uh, ilk of the police the song is velvet elvis my velvet elvis honestly the way that i got into the police now what is a velvet elvis so there are these velvet paintings that everybody had in their houses, and a lot of them were of Elvis in that, that era. It's funny with Elvis, our kids will never quite understand. Elvis was dead before I was around. Elvis was still just huge. One of the biggest stars and he had died, you know, not that long prior. Of course, when somebody famous dies, there's all kinds of conspiracies that are still alive. I remember watching like Unsolved Mysteries, which was a freaky show when we were kids, seeing like Elvis sighting stories, it just scared the crap out of me. But now you don't hear about that stuff anymore. I don't know, Elvis probably a hundred or something like that. Velvet Elvis, for me, comes in at number two. I highly doubt it's on your top 20. Number one all-time Jopinated list comes off of Alapalooza. The song is an original. The song is Frank's 2000-inch TV. The song's in the style of R.E.M. Near Wild Heaven and Don't Go Back to Rockville. I don't think that I really understood who Robert De Niro was at this point when this came out. I probably didn't really know who he was, but I do remember this song where he's talking about Robert De Niro's mole. It's got to be 10 feet wide. Frank's 2000-inch TV. Everybody gather around and see. Fell in love with the hook, you know? Like, I fell in love with the music on this. And a lot of these songs as you've noticed in this top 30 list are originals and I like those just as much as the parodies. Remember these are just opinions. Once again I'd be happy to discuss those in the comments. Like, subscribe, check out my channel. Remember also to check out the Canadian content in the description and at the beginning and end of this episode. Thanks again to those people. I love Weird Al Yankovic. I love UHF. Uh, I love Weird Al TV. Thank you for teaching me so much about music over the years. Just one of my absolute favorites growing up and it's been an education and I thank you for that. Weird Al in so many different things from hernias to Jurassic Park, Star Wars. Sorry I'm a little low on facts and high on opinions. Respect to Weird Al Yankovic. You have a lot but still want more.